namaste today in this video we are going to find the value of pi by using monte carlo method okay so monte carlo method is used to find the area under the curve let us consider a curve that consists the pi while while calculating the area okay so let us consist uh, let us consider a circle as the equation x square plus y square equals to 16 okay so when you construct the circle its center lies in 0 0 and it intersect the x axis and y axis at 40 40 minus 40 0 4 and 0 minus 4 so let us draw a boundary in a first quadrant like this okay when we draw the boundary lines it becomes a it becomes a square that means x is greater than equals to 0 where x is greater than equals to 0 yes and x is less than equals to 4 so this is the line x is less than equals to 4 and next one is y is greater than equals to 0 and y is less than equals to 4 so this line yes so this is the boundary of a square similarly the circle okay let us consider the circle and its boundary becomes x square plus y square minus 16 is less than equals to 0 if it's greater than 0 then it lies outside the circle yes and we generate randomly numbers or we generate random numbers okay and calculate these values does it lie inside the circle or outside the circle okay and the total number of random number generated is that is termed as n and total number of random number inside the boundary is known as small n and by monte carlo method we calculate it as capital n by n is equals to area of rect or area of the given polygon divided by area of the cob where area of the cob is calculated from this and by calculating the area we compare it with the analytical method of the area that is area of cob equals to so in case of circle it is pi r square yes pi r square and we calculate the value of pi so from analytical value of pi it is 3.14 and error is analytical value min minus calculated value and error percent is e by analytical value okay so let us consider the same example circle okay so circle okay now we have to fill this table okay so randomly generate i am using uh, 15 random numbers okay you, uh, it will be better if you cons uh, suppose 20 random number or greater random number it will provide a better result okay so what is the value of this you have to calculate let us suppose a it is b a a equals to alpha x square plus alpha y square minus 16 yes this must be this must be less than 0 or less than equals to 0 to lie inside the boundary yes next equation is we have to calculate the random number yes alpha sorry alpha x equals to sorry let it be where it gone okay so alpha uh, x equals to random number okay shift this is rand okay and boundary is 4s so we have to suppose it to up to 4 0 to 4 it means and alpha is to alpha y alpha equals to rand okay again rand the y's boundary is also 4 so 4 okay now calculate so let us first suppose the x value is 0 and y value is 0 okay so x value is 0 y value is 0 and its value is minus 16 so since it is less than 0 it lies inside the boundary second okay so random number is generated it is Okay, one point zero nine six, and next random number is 
2.636 so when it is calculated it gives minus 7.8502 so it is also inside the boundary similarly third random number okay so third random number is 2.692 and for y it is 3.964 so when you calculate the result it gives 6.96016 so c is greater than 0 so it lies outside the cup okay again four random number it is 1.044 and next one is 3.784 okay so it provides minus 0 0.5914 so since it is minus so it lies inside the cup okay fifth point okay so fifth point it was 3.568 1.816 and it becomes 0 0.02848 okay so since it is positive it is outside the boundary sixth point okay 0 0.044 0 0.312 it is minus 15.90072 it is also inside yes since it is minus 7 point okay so 7 point is 1.588 3.072 okay what it gives minus 4.0410 okay so it is also inside and 8 point okay 8 point is 2.032 1.828 minus 8.5293 okay I have written up to 4 decimal place so since it is minus it is also inside the boundary okay 9 point 3.604 okay next one is 1.136 so it is also minus 1.7206 okay and it gives it is also minus so it is inside the boundary okay 10th point so 10 point is 2.38 okay 2.532 so it also minus 3.9245 it is also inside since it is less than 0 1.28 1.556 okay see it is also minus 11.9406 okay 04 9404 yes so it is also inside the boundary again so 12th point 1.112 1.452 minus 12.6551 it is also inside the boundary so next m number of x is 0 0.22 2.148 so it is also calculated as minus 11.3376 and it gives okay result it is also inside since it is minus okay 14 point 0 0.856 2.972 so it is also minus 6.4344 so it is also inside 15 point so okay i am taking last point as 15 you can take up to 10 or 20 points okay it is better if you take more than 10 points so 15th random number is 3.296 next one is 2.564 okay 
so it gives 1.4377 okay it is outside the boundary since it is positive so these are the random number which we generated by using calculator and this is the calculation since it is less than 0 we remark it's inside the cup if greater than 0 it is outside the cup okay now we have to use the formula okay so how many points we have taken up to all together 15 points and how many points are inside the cup so we have to count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so 12 points are inside the cup okay now by using Monte Carlo method total number of random number generated divided by total number of random number inside the cup is equals to area of rectangle divided by area of the cup so area of the cup equals to area of rectangle so what was the area of rectangle that means 0 to 4 0 to 4 so this is a square so length is 4 that means its area is 4 into 4 is 16 into what is the value of small n it is 12 yes divided by what is the total number of random number generated is 15 so 16 into 12 by 15 so 16 into 12 by 15 it gives 12.8 square unit okay now we have to calculate the value of pi so area of cob is equals to this is the area of circle and we have considered only one fourth of the area of circle so we have to divide it by four okay so area of cob is pi square pi r square divided by four since we have considered a single quadrant okay so pi equals to area of cob into four divided by pi r square so area of cob is 12.8 yes 12.8 into 4 divided by so this is not a pi okay only i r, r square so r is what is the radius of the circle it is 4 unit so 4 into 4 okay now we have to calculate it into 4 divided by 16 is equals to 3.2 so by analytical value we have pi is 3.14 so error equals to 3.14 minus 3.2 it gives minus 3 3.12 sorry uh, 3.14 not 12 it gives 0 0.06 so error percentage is equals to error is 0 0.06 and the analytical value of pi is 3.14 into 100 percent okay so divided by 3.14 into 100 so our percentage error is 1.91 percent so this is how we calculate the value of pi by using monte carlo method okay so similarly we can find the value of pi by using the integration approach also so 2 to 6 okay x square by 4 dx so since x square it provides the cob like this and we have to consider this type of rectangles okay so we can use this form also to calculate the value of pi in this way we have solved the monte carlo method to find the value of pi okay thank you and bye bye